I'm at the house at 10765 in Pala Springs in the Trophy Ridge subdivision. I'm going to give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. This subdivision is off of 1604 and Petrenko Road, so you're right next to shopping. You got uh, Kohl's, um, HEB, there's a grocery store, you got Walmart on the other corner. This community also has an elementary school uh, inside, community pool, playground. You're also close to Lackland Air Force Base um, and Highway 151. I'm going to give you a look inside. This house is built in 2006. It's on a nice sized lot. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath. Square footage is roughly 2,617 square feet. Here at the top of the stairs, we got a, uh, a porch area. Let me take a look inside. I'm going to give you the kind of the layout of the bottom floor. Straight ahead we have the kitchen and eating area. Around the corner we're going to have the master bedroom. To the right we're going to have the access to the utility room and the garage. And then the second door further down is the uh, half bath. So right in the front we got a nice tile entry. Beautiful laminate floors in the living room. This is a large size living room, about 17 feet by 18 feet. And I'm going to kind of pan up here. Right above the entry we have a nice tall ceilings goes all the way up to the second floor. We have fresh paint in the living room, kitchen, dining room, master bedroom. We've got blinds throughout the house. Very nice area here. To the right, we're gonna to go to the utility area. We have the washer and dryer is included with this home. And then they have access to the two car garage. Tall ceilings here in the garage. Um, you may not be able to tell, but underneath the stair stairway is also a storage underneath the stairs. We have a water softener and then the water heater is there. So it's a good size uh, garage with the garage door opener. Okay, let's head over here to the kitchen. Here we have recessed lighting. We've got a breakfast bar. You can put some stools over there. We've got a huge eat-in area. This is the size larger than most dining rooms you see uh, in homes. Huge area, tile. Again, we got uh, fresh paint on the walls, large, let me back up here before I get too far in this room here. Here is the half bath, I don't want to go too far, tile, and again, fresh paint in this room, we got your pedestal sink, so looks really uh, clean here. So this kitchen here, we got the extended kitchen island, uh, you got lots of counter space and lots of storage, your dishwasher, dual sinks. Um, looks like you also got a, let me walk over here, you got a uh, water dispenser here, the dual sinks, you got gas cooking which is great for cooks, oven, microwave, there's your connection for your uh, refrigerator ice maker, and again if back up here this is an extended, looks about uh, almost twice as long as a normal island, and then you have another area here. So lots of space. You got a um, pantry. It is a walk-in pantry. You got a good amount of shelves. And since I'm here, this is the door to the exit. Let me just show the backyard. We got a small covered patio here but as you can see in the afternoon we got natural shading from the home so you got some nice shaded area we have a storage shed that is included so you can store your lawnmower lawn equipment bikes whatever you need to i'm going to walk out here because this is a good size lot about 0.17 acres so it is um, quite a bit larger than your average lot size 
it goes all the way around the corner so you got a good yard space again fence all the way around some nice trees there so let's go back inside so we're going to head over to now the master's bedroom which is down which is great for people who don't want, want to have to worry about going up and down the stairs give you a different view of the kitchen as we go through here again nice arch there okay so this is your master's downstairs master's bedroom again it's about 16 by 17 feet so again a very large master's you got 10 foot ceilings here so a very open feeling uh, you can easily fit your, your king size bed, your dressers, nightstands, and have lots of space in here. This room is also freshly painted, as was the master bathroom. Here we have uh, tile again. We have dual sinks, but we also have them separate. I see one here has got a sitting area, and one here is a little bit taller. Um, then you got the separate uh, shower and a nice sized garden tub here off of here we have a huge walk-in closet now i did measure this and it's let me just focus in there let me just walk over here uh, the measurement of this walk-in closet is 10 feet by six feet across so this is a very large uh, walk-in closet lots of storage space and then off the side here, we have the, uh, the commode. So very nice master bathroom and uh, master bedroom. Okay, so we're gonna head to the living room back upstairs. Yeah, I just love how open this whole area is. This recessed lighting really, um, Brightens it up, we've got lots of windows. So we're gonna head upstairs. Before we do that, we've got a uh, storage area under the stairs. This house is just full of storage. Now if you look here, let's see if we can go over here. This goes, I'm not gonna go all the way underneath, but it goes all the way around underneath the uh, staircase. So you do have a lot of storage. Put your Christmas decorations or whatever you need. Going upstairs, we have a nice laminate floors. Really good use of space, this floor plan. Uh, this whole house, the floor plan is really excellent in the use of space. Now this is, uh, this game room is actually larger than the living room. It's about 18 feet by 17 feet. You got ceiling fan here. Um, also, um, you got dual AC controls. You got two units, you got one upstairs, one downstairs. So there on the wall is the upstairs uh, thermostat. Nice open feel here. All right, let me just lay out the floor plan at the top of the stairs here. So of course we're in the game room area. Uh, the doorway to the left is a, one of the three bedrooms. Down the hallway is the other two bedrooms and a bathroom. So we got three full bedrooms upstairs and a full bath up. You can love this nice uh, lemon floors. Let's start off over here. This is like another full walk-in closet. So if you have this as your game area, you definitely have Tons of stuff to put, uh, tons of room to put all your stuff in. Nice walk-in closet. Each of the upstairs bedrooms has its own walk-in closet. This is probably, uh, they're all good sizes, but this is probably the, the smaller of the three bedrooms, about 11 by 11. So it is a good size. Uh, go around the corner here. So you get your master, your, uh, your walk-in closet for this bedroom. That was bedroom number two. Stopping in the hallway here, we have yet another closet for storage. Okay, 
This is bedroom number three. This one's a little bit bigger, about 12, uh, 12 feet by 12 feet, so it is a good size uh, bedroom. Got blinds in all the windows in the house. Get another good size walk-in closet. So this is bedroom number three that we're leaving and we're going into bedroom number four. So four bedrooms in total, one master's down and the other three up. This is again about 12 by 12, so again a good size uh, bedroom. Carpet looks to be in excellent condition in all the rooms. And then it show the last walk-in closet. As we head out, we're gonna stop at the hallway bath. So we got cabinets. You have your commode and your shower tub combination. So again, to summarize, this is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, roughly 2,600 square feet. If you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, please give me a call on my cell phone. My name is Mark Fee. My cell phone number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.